a human face. This is one of the ideals that this great South African leader lived and died for. It's now 40 years after his brutal killing. When we switch on the news and open the daily papers, do we see a human face? I don't. 40 years after his brutal killing, isn't it time to look at the mirror and reflect? How do I contribute to this state of affairs, a world that needs a human face? What can I do to give our world a human face? If I say, what should they do, then he died in vain. If I have no self-reliance and have an external locus of control, then he died in vain. He said, If I do not reflect the ideals that he died for, then he died in vain. If I choose to be a victim of what Jimmy Kruger did 40 years ago, then he died in vain. Do I dip my little bucket where I am? Do I see the next person as a human being, irrespective of his or her status? Do I see the people I employ, especially those I employ in my home, as human beings, or is modern slavery okay if it is practiced by us? Do I go out of my way to lift as I rise? Do I go out of my way to find a struggling young person to mentor? Or am I too busy showing off my fabulous life on social media to even think of a meaningful life? I don't have to be a Mother Teresa and do great things. But in her words, I can choose to do small things in a great way. That's what it will take to give our world a human face, one kind act at a time. Thank you for your valuable time. I'm Makeni Zoneveld, an ordinary South African.